We'll start with uh, Todd Divis inside the clubhouse. Hey, Davey. Can you take us through why you were so upset with what Joe Girardi did and how you thought tonight went in general with the enforcement process? I thought the umpires, you know, I, I thought the umpires did a good job with it. I really did. I mean, uh, you know, it's it's part of the game now, and uh, they did that due diligence. So, uh, as far as uh, Joe's concerned, I think he's got to answer the tough questions about that. You know, I don't need to answer that. So. Um, Bottom line is, you know, we went one and zero today. The boys came out and played. They kept that composure. Um, we finished the game, and and it was a good win for us. So uh, we're just going to come back tomorrow and go one and zero tomorrow. Uh, you just mentioned how tight the game was and how compelling the actual baseball was, but the main storyline here is going to be what happened between Max and Joe and on the field with enforcement and the sticky stuff. Um, are you disappointed that tonight became such a show of histrionics and overshadowed the actual baseball no, like i said we, we you know we kept our composure and uh, uh we, we we you know we became became victorious so um and at the bottom line that's that's what we're here to do so you know um, hey there was no sticky stuff let's just say that you know um the umpires checked it, you know every, everything was good so uh like i said joe i think joe's got to answer the tough questions tonight do you think this is a sustainable process going forward for the next three or four months I, I think for right now it's going to be sustain, sustainable. You see, you see what they're doing. So, I'm, like I said, I don't fault anybody for this. It, it is, it is what it is. Um, MLB came out, you know, came out with the policy. Uh, the umpires got to follow the policy. We all got to abide by the policy. And uh, you know, but for for our our standpoint, like I told the players, hey, regardless of what they do, focus on the game, play the game. You know, it, you know, we got to play baseball. Don't worry about what they're going to do, how they're going to do it. Focus on the game and let's play the game. Thank you. Jesse Docker, do you watch him post? Hey, David, what kind of explanation did you get on the field, though, during that situation as to what was going on, why they were checking, why Joe asked, if anything? Did you hear from the umpires? Yeah, like, like I said, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not going to comment on, on, on that stuff. I'm really not. I mean, um, Joe's going to get asked the tough questions. I mean, for me, um, I'm proud of the boys today, man. They, you know, they hung in there. Max. Max, you know, threw a lot of pitches, but you know, he was able to give us five, five good innings, five strong innings. And, uh, the, you know, Young with a big, big night tonight. Um, but the boys played well, played good defense, played well, you know. And like I said, we want to and know and, and we got to focus on uh, on tomorrow. You know, tomorrow is a quick turnaround. So um, let's come let's come back tomorrow and, and try to win the series. So they're not so they're not directly related to Joe, but how do you make sure Max gets kind of settled back in? He's obviously fired up in that moment and he has a. Between the fourth and fifth, he comes back to the dugout. Do you guys talk at all, or do you kind of let him just blow off the steam and, and no, get, and get back him, into his outing? I just told him, hey, focus on the game. You know, focus on getting the next hitter out. That's it. I mean, um, but, you know, Max Max is a professional. Max competes. You know, he knows what he, knows what he needs to do. So, um, you know, like I said, he went out there, and, and he got the outs that we needed. Uh, his pitch count got up, you know, for his first time out after being, uh, staying on the I.L. Um, that was good enough for us. You know, uh, both came in, did an amazing job. You know, pitched two innings. Uh, got some big outs for us. Randy threw the ball well, and then Hank came in and closed it out for us. Any hesitation with Max getting up past 100 pitches there since it is his first start back? No, yeah, I talked to him after he came out. You know, he, he said he felt a little fatigued, but just because he, you know, he hasn't been out there in a while, but he said otherwise he felt good. Thank you. Okay. Mark Zuckerman, MassInSports.com. Hey, Dave, I was going to ask just how you thought he looked from a pitching standpoint. Uh, I know, you know, we only missed one start, but did he look as sharp as you would have thought he would for his first time back out? Yeah, I think I think earlier he wasn't he he wasn't trying to step on it, and um, as he got going and, and as the innings started he started progressing, he he started throwing the ball really well. And uh, typical Max, you know, all, he had all his pitches working. Um, he threw some really good pitches. So you know, like I said, his pitch count was up. Look, those guys are, are patient hitters. You know, they're good hitters. Um, but he got through it, and like I said, he gave you know he gave us five strong innings. The way you guys scored early, I know you've been looking for that, but did you feel like you still left a bunch of runs out there that could have made this a little more of a comfortable ball game the rest of the way? Yeah, I mean, yeah, we could have, we could have scored some more runs for sure. Um, but you got a good, you know, you got another guy that's that was pitching for them, um, and Wheeler. That's that's a tough, you know, tough opponent. So, uh, the, you know, the thing is, we knocked them out of the game. I thought we scored some more runs, but that's where. Else. Uh, Suarez kid is pitching, throwing the ball really well for them, you know, and, um, you know, they, they kept us there. So um, it was, it was a heck of a game barring, you know, uh, a little, uh, little tiff there. You know, the game, the game was actually really good.
what do you feel like Brad was able to do to get out of that? Um, his pitch count's getting up. He's thrown, I think it was four out of five days. Now I know the previous ones weren't a lot of pitches. But what was he able to do to, to get himself out of that? I honestly think, you know, he, he focused on just, you know, making pitches, making good pitches. Um, that last pitch he threw to through the Reese was, was a really good pitch. He got him ground out. So um, kudos to him. I mean, he threw a lot of pitches, but, um, you know, his job is to close games. He knows that, and he did a great job tonight. And just real quick, are Trey and Schwarber okay? Uh, Trey is okay, and Schwarber, once again, you know, uh, we took him out for defense because of his knee. Um, so we're going to have to keep an eye on him. Uh, you know, and I plan on doing it. Now, you know, like I said, not a par he, even though, he, you know, he pitched it early. I knew Schwarber's going to get another at bat, so I didn't want to take him out. Um, but late in the innings like that, you know, I feel like we need to get him out of here. All right, then we'll finish with Paul Casella, Emily.com. Uh, Davey, obviously it's a division rival. You guys play him 12 more times starting in about 12 hours. Is there any concern of carryover after an emotional game like that? Or is this type of thing you think could linger or any, you know, you check them tomorrow, they check you again, that type of thing? Uh, you know what? Hey, like, like, I, like I told the boys, hey, we're good. You know, let's keep focusing on us and don't worry about anything. It's like it's part of the game now. So uh, just focus on what you need to do to help us win and let, we'll get through this together. Thanks, Dave. All right. Thanks, Davey. And we'll be back in shortly.